After tracking down Luke to the Lars Moisture Farm on Tatooine, Vader laments that there is no one left to punish. Just then, Z67 detects Kleeg Lars and Shmi Skywalker's graves. Vader uses the Force to reveal the very spot where he'd buried his mother all those years ago. Interrupting, the Imperial Garrison has an urgent message for Vader, but they are blasted from the skies above by a couple of ne'er-do-wells. I could have mentioned them in the first part, but Vader cuts through them like toilet paper. Back on Coruscant, Vader arrives at his late wife's apartment, cracking through the sealed doorway. For perhaps the first time, Vader admits that Padme was the mother of Luke Skywalker. Z-67 quickly deduces that her and Anakin must have gotten rather friendly while he was serving as her personal guard. Only her most trusted allies would have known that she was pregnant. They must have stolen Luke to hide him. Someone had wiped the security recordings, but Z-67 detected a scout transmitter. But who was it reporting to? On Vendaxa, things were popping off as a Gungan is torn apart by an alien creature. After clearing the area of all threats, Vader's pacemaker skips a beat. He is met by none other than his dead wife, Padme Amidala. 